a child. Look at that one's pooping. Here we go. This is like, oh. That moment when you die. Look at this nasty bird. I wish I could turn on console commands. Well, fellers, it's a stormy day here at the Urban Rescue Ranch. And I say it's high time I move Kevin out to the back pasture. Look at these adorable little ducks. Now you guys might be thinking, Uncle Ben, get out of there. The storm's coming. But old Uncle Ben been praying for a storm here for a long time. <laughs> that storm up there means it's planting season. So I'm gonna take all those little pumpkin seeds you guys have been sending me for the last couple weeks. If you have more pumpkin seeds, please send them because we are gonna grow a thousand pumpkins. Means it's time for me to take all those pumpkin seeds you guys have been sending in the fan mail and put them in the back. That's about you guys go follow my Instagram right now. Take a look at the picture I just took. That's about you guys go head over to the Instagram, support Uncle Ben over there, huh? Don't try this at home, you guys. You might get the bird flu, and I'm not going to be responsible. Look at this nasty bird. This is a good turkey, you guys. I'm glad I kept this little man. <laughs> look at this nasty stuff. What is this made of? What is this nasty boy made of? As you can see, this is Travis Scott. No, here, go, go. You eat that. That's all you get, big boy. You're too fat. Look at him. He's looking at that big pile right there, and he's like, come on. How come they get to eat all that food, but you give me this nasty little tiny crumbly? And I know what he's thinking, too. He's thinking, man, if you weren't here, I'd be messing these little ducks up. I would be annihilating that little duckling right now if you weren't here, Uncle Ben. There you go. There's a little bit more. Ooh, Travis Scott's trying to take some of that, too. It looks like Travis Scott's trying to take some of this food. Rolanda's warmed up to me a lot, too. I think raising this little guy indoors was the key to her heart. Because now that he likes me, this one's gonna like me too. But if you guys have a lot of birds and they're not this friendly, literally the answer to getting them to be like this, it's not that hard. You literally just have to sit with them when they're eating. That's it. A lot of homesteaders just throw food out there and then they walk away. And I do that all the time. Ooh, that was lightning. But if you love your burbs and you want them to like you too, you gotta sit with them when they eat. This guy's been creeping around here for a while now. Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and put these lights up here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this stuff so I can refill Karen and Kevin's thing. And now the weather's finally good enough for me to be able to just carry this around without hating my life hello kevin there's an egg right over there i need to get that before it really starts pouring if they get a little wet it's okay but if they get too wet then they're probably gonna die also now i'm taking this little guy over here Ooh, i saw lightning again <laughs> that moment when you die look at this adorable little man it's like please papa i won't break out again i promise what's funny is poggers somehow finds a way to get from here back there but when I have him in here, he can't get out. He doesn't know how to jump over this little thing. Yep, now all these girls have a boy. That way he can protect them. When a hawk comes by, he can be like, oh, and they'll all go for shelter. Should be going over there, but tomorrow morning, first thing, I am getting a chicken house right here that they're all gonna be able to roost in at night. They've been having the time of their lives eating all the bugs and insects and everything through here, and then a lot of grass. They've already cleared a little bit of grass in this little corner here, but not too much. But my goal is to go ahead and take all these guys and then segment this area here. From the end of the pumpkin patch to this corner here, we're gonna have a new big chicken coop that we're gonna be able to paint and make look cute. Look at this little girl just jumping up, saying, please, Papa, please, Papa, pet me. Look at this dog, he's such a good little man. He don't think about too much, though. He's a simple man, a protector of this farm. But take a look at that, you guys. Everything's starting to bloom and look really pretty here. Except for the pecan trees. Those are all the pecan trees. I got one there, one there, and then one in the front. And we can even sell those pecans at any feed store for a decent amount of money. Easy children, don't fight. This way they won't also be destroying our little pumpkin patch here, but they can clean it up after the season's over. And they'll be able to free range in this whole area here. And next year when they do start laying, we're gonna be able to sell them as free range hens. And I may put queen or poggers in that little area back there with them just to protect them. Pretty soon we're gonna be getting some more beehives and some bees. And having the bees right there should mean that every one of our pumpkin plants is going to be pollinating and getting tons and tons of fruit i just saw a huge lightning strike right up there it was amazing it's like a perfect time to not walk next to this pole and hold this ladder perfect time to get on a ladder and string up some lights but just take a look at this adorable mother and her five adorable children and we have a chicken in there hiding behind the tree but trust me it's there but all these guys are growing up really well they're being very cute but i'm afraid that if i don't start hanging out with them and spending time with them hand feeding them probably gonna have some really scared annoying pigs hanging out look at that one's pooping look this one's just pooping over here look at that little man sure doesn't seem reasonable to do this while it's a lightning storm but if i don't do it now it probably won't get done 
All right, fix these lights. Now I just need to go ahead and get that ride shield and get that egg. Because if I don't get that egg now, if it gets wet, it might not incubate. Some of you guys might be wondering, Uncle Ben, why don't you let Kevin take a shot at incubating those eggs? And the males do incubate the eggs with Rhea. And the answer is, look where he made the nest. There's literally all this space right here where there could be a nice little nest for him. It'd be easier for me to grab the eggs. But no, they had to make it over there in the open. But all right, here we go. This is like, oh, there, there he goes. First little hit there. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and just move past him. I'm gonna try and flank him. It's good to it's good to provide pressure from the front. As you can see, he's starting to get a little nervous. He's starting to think, oh, maybe I can't do this. Maybe I'm not the alpha in this situation. And now he's like, okay, all right, I'm gonna try one more time. Oh, no, I guess I'm still not the alpha. All right, there he goes. But man, take a look at this adorable, beautiful egg. Just a massive golden ball right here. Just gonna go ahead and grab that. And there is a little bit of shade here because of these trees, but right now these things would still just get soaked. As you can see, he moved over to Karen here to protect her. Now he thinks I'm gonna go ahead and mate with her. So he wants to fight me off as the dominant male, but he's still not able to do that. And as long as I stay here and back away, he's gonna keep coming towards me. But if I simply move towards him and say, oh, I don't care about your presence, it really doesn't affect me at all, Kevin. He did get my leg there. All right, come on, move back. And that's all you need to do, guys. I cured Kevin's depression. But look at this, guys. Now all the grass is getting watered. The ducks are running around having fun. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the incubator. And I'm also gonna go ahead and manually spin all of these eggs because I found out that this thing by itself will not hatch the rhea. Even if they're fertilized eggs, you need to spin them a little bit extra, at least for the first week yourself. But take a look at this adorable thing. This could be a child. How about you sponsor us, Brinzia? How about you go ahead and give us some money and sponsor us? Like this young man. I'm gonna go ahead and take this and clean all this out because they made it nasty. Oh, it's raining pretty bad now. Very nice. Man, I should have planted those pumpkins. Suppose it's time to plant them now. Well, looks like there's a tornado watch now. But hoggers and queen need their food. Man, I wish I could turn on console commands. <laughs> Get it, guys? Because Minecraft? We like Minecraft. We like Minecraft. Okay, time to go. Man, yesterday would have been a perfect day to plant all that sauce. Storms calmed down a bit, so I suppose it's time to head out. <laughs> Let the record show that we did have a pond here. So if I build one there, it, I mean, uh, so if it's there later, it was there from this rainstorm. That's right, you guys. We have tons of ponds here now for forever these are never gonna dry up and if i end up aquascaping any of this it was clearly already here our two little surrender ducklings are doing really well i'm gonna name these little fellas wiz and khalifa on account of them being black and yellow <laughs> yeah i'm from pittsburgh but take a look at this whoa was that hit rapper and artist the baby now i can go ahead and fill this up now i can call it a day knowing that all my little adorable babies have food look at this little wet girl oh but also now we know where all the leaks are here. There's a big boy right there, bunch on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and replace all of this wood. I'm realizing that if we need to build a new building here, it's gonna take probably a year to complete. I'm just gonna redo this whole thing. But the rain's starting to slow down now. As you can see, we have lots of ponds here at the Urban Rescue Ranch, and these were all already here. And they last here for forever. They never dry up. Look at this handsome man. And as you can see, I was very wise for taking that egg before the rain. And look at these adorable babies, all nice and dry, even though this whole place is a mud pit now. But I'm still gonna go ahead and put a floor in later that's just gonna be pallets laying down with a bunch of stuff on top of it. Probably just pallets and plywood. The pigs are obviously just loving every second of this. All this grass got watered really well, so it should be coming in pretty soon. These cedars are thriving, and I'm really happy to see that because we did cut off literally the whole bottom half of them. Oh, did you see that lightning? All right, now let's check on the chicken. Oh my, they don't really know how to get into that greenhouse yet, even though that's a perfect place for them. I could go ahead and set up a tent here in the corner temporarily for them. Tomorrow we're gonna be getting a nice big chicken coop and it's done raining for the day. Even with constant access to shelter, which these guys do have over there, chickens still just be hanging out outside sometimes. Even after all that rain, there's only a little bit of water in that tarp. And look at this, you guys, all this stuff's gonna grow back really well. So when this dries out, I'll be able to plop those seeds and cover them immediately. Big fella walking. This is really the one thing I was concerned about with how tight we made this, but I can just go ahead and push each one of them down. It might be smart to put a little floor in here. Also, I forgot to mention, we do have one chicken that just free roams this area. Look at this wet boy. It's just a little nugget. Hello, queen. These boys smell like wet dog. 
Devon sure is wonderful theft prevention. But that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching my video. Also, pretty soon we'll have sod everywhere here, so I won't be doing this anymore. I can't believe we hit a million subscribers in such a short period of time. I got a big million subscriber special video cooking up for you if I haven't already posted it. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Ah!